All right, Dakota, we're here at the 2021 Nitro Challenge. Uh, we're kind of a little bit delay of a start here on our video, but uh, we had some delays getting my equipment here. But uh, we're starting off with you because you had a terrific day uh, during the first day of qualifying. So uh, talk to us about running some e-buggy and then treggy. Yeah, practice went practice went well. All my cars were pretty close. Um, the team has been working really hard getting uh, getting a good base setup, baseline. Um, so the first couple practices and everything was good. Um, made a couple small changes for qualifying and stuff, and kind of just tinker tinkering around a little bit. Um, for the most part, leaving everything the same. Just uh, like I said, small changes. Everything's going well. I'm feeling super comfortable. And uh, yeah, I just didn't didn't really make a lot of mistakes out there during qualifying. Yeah, I mean this is kind of a a lot of people online look at this track. I've seen some, you know, some of the experts out there. Of course, they're like, "Oh, it seems kind of like an easy track this year." But when I'm watching and you're actually here, this is—it's actually kind of a hard track. Yeah, it's pretty technical. Uh, like the first practice, it was pretty easy to get around and not crash and stuff. But actually trying to hit the right lines and have that floor on the track is very difficult. There's a lot of singles and a lot of like little doubles and rollers and stuff that are on corners. Um, they're pretty high speed. Try to jump that, land where you want to land, and then still be able to accelerate, get to the next one, do the same thing. It's definitely a little bit of a challenge. Um, it's it's hard to find that that uh, driving easy and smooth, and then still carrying corner speed and stuff. So, yeah, just uh, just had to find the find the flow out there. Um, and there's a couple of square edges and stuff out there now that kind of catching the cars and kind of makes the car swing around and stuff. So, definitely definitely uh, deceivingly technical. Yeah, what's interesting too is. I mean, you just came from an electric race. We were in Omaha. It was about minus four degrees out uh, outside, but inside we were racing some 10 scale, and, and then you kind of jump right back in, and you go from running two classes there to three here. It's really two entirely different things. Is there anything you kind of remind yourself about or um, just things you have to change to go from 10 scale to 8 scale? It's definitely a lot of different driving style. Uh, fortunately, I, I'm able to switch back and forth a lot. I came out here last month to do some running. I hadn't done, uh, done any 8 scale running since AMS last year. So I came out here, did did a few days of running, kind of got back into the rhythm and stuff. Um, and then flew home, did the JC race at Hobbyplex. And then out here, um, yeah, and, and like I said, the cars were very easy to drive. Had had a really good flow, good steering and everything. So was uh, was easy on me to get comfortable quickly and uh, just made just made little small changes. Okay, well I think we'll you know be concentrating for the most part here on the uh, nitro buggy side because we're going to be able to catch the qualifiers and yeah. obviously you got a TQ and Truggy, you got a TQ and E buggy, so things are going well. Uh, but we're going to follow some of these qualifiers a little closely. I think today it's going to be kind of tough. The track's getting yeah. a little bit more bumpy and uh, it's kind of a drive right now out there. And uh, they're watering every three races, so you got to take that into consideration, yep. and and then make adjustments accordingly, right? Yeah, we're kind of most people I think are bringing two sets of tires up, depending on how much they water. If they're watering for your race, the race before, how quickly it dries out. Um, the wind is playing a big factor in that as well. Yesterday, the track was drying out really quick in the first round, and then second, third round, the wind kind of died down, and it was staying wet for longer. So it, it's definitely. Uh, definitely uh, you know have to pick the right compound um, we're kind of going mostly on greens um, I think maybe they might get a little bit soft today it seems like it's a little bit warmer today so kind of keep an eye on that and then make the decision uh, right before we go up all right Barry we're doing the wrenching here this weekend for Dakota yep. and uh, you did last year as well you guys got some good results uh, talk to us about getting the, the nitro buggy ready for today and what you're doing to kind of a pre-race routine that you have to get this thing ready well in between every round and even before the races go you know I just make sure that the car all the arms are free uh, no bent hinge pins or anything so I'm just going through my normal routine and then just setting the ride height and the camber and making sure the shocks are free um, and I do that pretty much between every round I like to make sure that his car is super clean ready to go and uh, I do the car he takes you know he he discusses with you about tires and the rest of the team and, and picks the right tire and we go out and we run and that's just the way it is. I mean, rinse and repeat. 
Yeah, I mean, you, you got uh, some, obviously we talked about the successful results already yesterday in qualifying, but, you know, carry those over to Nitro Buggy, and it seems like no matter what we do, this is the, um, the class everybody enjoys the most or looks forward to. So what do you look forward to with the Nitro Buggy class? Well, I mean, we've done, like Dakota said, you know, earlier, he, he did some testing out here and found a pretty good, you know, setup, a pre pretty baseline setup that we started with. Uh, we haven't really messed with it too much. Um, we tried a different shock setup in the night uh, during the seating round, but we know the first round during the day when he said, you know, fastest uh, seating time was his baseline setup. So we're back to that for, uh, for the first round of qualifying. I'm just looking forward to, you know, He's such a talented driver and he can, you know, make sure that he make, doesn't make mistakes. And if he does make a mistake, he gathers it back and he doesn't let it fluster him. So that's, that's a big thing. I watch a lot of these guys go out there and they go on flyer laps and they're leading the race and then they fly off the track once and they try to make up time. And what people don't realize, I mean, you and I both know this, you can't make up time you've lost. There's only one fast lap you can do. It's gone. It's gone. Just, just put it in the bank and you've lost it. All right, Mark, um, this is a big challenge here this weekend for you. Big challenge. It's a big challenge at the Nitro Challenge. Uh, you're coming in a little late. Uh, you're going to race some eight-scale buggy. And um, despite what people see sometimes, uh, you haven't raced a lot, but uh, you still got the skills and you got some competition here. Uh, we'll be checking in with your guys, your competition, but what's it like kind of getting back out here to race and uh, just being with all the guys yeah, on the track? It's, it's fun. It's cool seeing everybody again. You know, I obviously I'm not, you know, I'm not in the day-to-day -day like, uh, like you are, but uh, it's good catching up with you and obviously there's, you know, some great history there growing up together you know that camaraderie that you get at the races and, and you know it's about hanging out you know i think at this race it's when you see all these guys it's yeah there's a big race going on but when you walk around it's it's, a social, it's more of a social thing than it is about the big race of course the big you know the guys are here in the band and we all grown up and we have friends from all over the world, so it's, it's cool seeing them. But uh, I'm here to have fun and, and see how the hot race stuff's going and, uh, you know, get the race to drive so, you know, we don't get to spend a ton of time together since he's in school. But, uh, and making sure all the pipes are nailed down correctly. Especially in that first So, you know, your competition, I, I, at some point or another here, it's going to be between you, uh, Richard, Greg Degani, and then we got the Drake in there, who's a little bit cheating. He runs a lot more than you guys, or is a little bit more up to speed. But how's the thing feeling so far with the run you got uh, on the track? So I really relied on Rai to, uh, to get me set up. So I'm using his radio and his shocks and pretty much his everything. <laughs> and, but uh, you know, in the last the first race, uh, put it down. I run maybe once or twice a year. Not what I have going on. So, uh, yeah, it was interesting. So, but the car felt good, and it, you know, the more that was my first time on the track. So. I just need to where I can put it to where I don't have to do a B-main, but a B-main wouldn't be bad either, that would be more accurate. So, uh, you've run a lot of these Nitro Challenges, You, I don't know if you won the first one or you were close, but talk to us about the success you had uh, at this race. Yeah, this race got a long history, as you know. Uh, we were just talking a little bit about it. it started out in Hemet, racing in this... Uh, Gosh, it's probably this, it looks like the size of this tent if you were to go back now. But, um, you know, eight scale back then was just about, you know, you were happy if you finished 10 minutes and you, you know, break. And, you know, now, if you're not pushing your car 110% for an hour long day and, you know, braking isn't a concern anymore, the car doesn't have to be good. So, um, but yeah. The history of the race is pretty phenomenal. When you look back and see the progression of the cars, the tires, the engines, the radios, the atmosphere, you know, it's changed quite a bit. So it, it's fun. All right, Tyler, here at the DNC, uh, 
Uh, we're a little bit of a delayed start here. We talked to Dakota already. He had a great start to the day yesterday. We're going to talk with you a little bit. You had a great day yesterday also. Um, you know, what's it like racing here at DNC Thunder Alley? Uh, it's definitely different. My first DNC experience, my first really California experience. Uh, the tracks are super cool. It's a lot different than what we run at home. But uh, I feel like I adapted pretty well, and I had a really good day yesterday. And I'm looking forward to today. So, you know, I was thinking about this. I don't know that you've ever been to the Dirt Nitro Challenge before. So if this is your first experience, uh, you've seen it. You've watched the videos. I'm sure you've watched First, you've, you've watched it live, and uh, so we'll we'll go from there and but talk to us definitely. about what it's like actually being here. It's definitely like it's kind of intense because you only get two practice runs per car, so you got to be like on it, figure it out what tires you want, uh, make sure your car is good, and just using your track time very wisely. Um, I felt like I adapted pretty well, but it's definitely like way different than anything I've ever experienced. So it's definitely, it's definitely a good time. I enjoy it. I mean, overall, this is maybe your, what, your second or third race with Techno. Uh, obviously, yeah. we talked earlier, you've been with J-Concepts for almost 10 years. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, so talk to us about running the Techno cars here a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's uh, second big race, probably fourth race total on the cars. And uh, I love them. Uh, the way they drive just fit me. I'm very comfortable. I can push them to the limit. I can back off and be consistent. Just the way they drive and the way I drive, I feel like this matches, and I'm very happy. All right, Joe, uh, we're here, DNC, getting in the Nitro Buggy qualifying. Yesterday, you did a lot of uh, driving on the track between Truggy and E-Buggy. Uh, a lot of people online, I think, first saw the track. They thought it was easy. Uh, but now things are getting more difficult. This track is, by the time we hit the mains, it's, it's going to be it's going to be a tough track. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, like like any race, we started with perfectly smooth and we just kind of go wherever and, and punch it. But now it's kind of getting to the point where you got to be a little bit more choosy with your lines and be a little bit more careful driving. And uh, you know, the, there's not really a whole lot of new holes for me. It's just the same holes getting bigger and deeper. So um, kind of just adjusting the lines and stuff that we can go go through and be all right. Now we have to kind of go around. It's kind of be picky, so it's all good. Um, yeah, so far, uh, E-Buggy, I was solid. I went uh, top five every run uh, yesterday. Struggy, I kind of tried a couple things that I probably shouldn't have, and um, I think just kind of shot myself in the foot there a little bit. But um, I'll start first in the B main tomorrow, but I'm confident tomorrow afternoon I can bump and get in that main. So uh, today's Nitro Buggy, so uh, felt really comfortable. I have. Um, yeah, I had a lot of comfort with my e-buggy yesterday, and I think uh, this weekend before the race with the testing, I thought my nitro car was a little bit better than the e-buggy, so I um, have uh, basically the same package on my nitro car as what I did with my e-buggy, so should be good, and um, yeah, just try to get some clean runs and um, try to be up there in the mix. Yeah, I mean, it's been impressive watching all you guys run. I mean, you know, sometimes people say, well, I got fifth that round or sixth that round, but it's only by the smallest bit. I mean, it's so close. Yeah, I mean, one bobble, you're losing a spot. One marshal, you're losing five to seven spots. I mean, if you basically, if you get marshaled in a run, you're not going to be top ten. I mean, more or less, unless you just have crazy speed. But, um, I mean, it, it's just so close. And all the drivers are so good these days. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's just unbelievably close. But, yeah, I mean, that's what, that's what it's come to now. All the cars are good. All the drivers are good. We put more time into prep than ever. And, uh yeah, everyone's program seems good, so close racing. All right, Seth. Um, qualifying yesterday, we did Truggy, we did E-Buggy. Now we're on the Nitro Buggy. Um, we're going to concentrate on Nitro Buggy here a lot, so let's talk about that. And uh, running the Techno rides here, we're in the Techno pits. Talk to us about what your what your goals are, what your hopes are to, uh, to run in this class today. Uh, goals for today, uh, get three clean, consistent runs. Wasn't really able to do that yesterday. Only really had uh, two clean, semi-clean runs. One clean one and then uh, a couple mistakes in e-buggy in the last one. Just a little bobble. Uh, no marshals. Uh, truck really couldn't put it together yesterday. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we got it figured out. Uh, Todd has been helping me with setup, so... Nitro Buggy though, we copied the setup from the E-Buggy and I'm pretty confident this is pretty much my base setup uh, that I pretty much ran everywhere and it's always super good. 
So we're probably going to go out on either reflex or the little chasers going into the Q1. Uh, I got the shocks off right now because I was going to re-bleed them and uh, check rebound, try and get the car. It seemed like it was dragging off face jumps. So uh, oh, I don't know what the watering schedule looks like, but that'll probably make my decision on whether or not I go little chasers or reflex. Probably reflex if it's dry. Uh, little chasers if it's wet. They seemed like they had a little bit more rear grip and more forward drive to get through all, all the wet. So. Okay. Well, um, one thing uh, that I noticed that you're not really afraid to do is you'll run a tire that nobody else runs. So, um, you know, a lot of people like to pick a safe combination and then they'll kind of, you know, they'll use that combination along with somebody else and say, hey, if it's not working, well, at least it didn't work for all of us. But some people will experiment for their own. They'll just kind of go for some different options. So, you know, you know, you did that a little bit last year. I remember you ran some different combinations. You know, you asked about bringing some different tires in case they got bumpy. Now we were talking about little chasers. So what's it like to sort of make those decisions and kind of living with it? Um, the decisions that I've been making on tires is uh, really trying to get comfortable through the bumps is the base thing. And then my car has been lacking a little bit of rear grip, which is weird. Uh, normally it doesn't, but it, um, it's a pretty fresh car, so we've been trying to get the rear grip situated and then just uh, like after the step up, that little double double, uh, we were trying to go triple, so I was looking for a tire that had four drive and then all the little short shoots in the center kind of I was looking for a tire that came out of the corner but wasn't super aggressive on steering so I ran last year in Paris I ran uh, Cosmos and then blockers and those were kind of my go-to tires in the rough I ran blockers last night in the last run of e-buggy it was kind of slow um, but they're super safe uh, the little chasers are a little bit quicker and they're still super safe. The reflexes I ran in Q2 at E-Buggy wasn't my greatest run. The car was pretty quick, but I think I had a rear end issue. It was getting a little loose. I think I got it figured out for Q2. So, um, the Cosmos for me, like when it gets, I think it's going to be super important for me when it gets to like main day. Uh, the, like the chocolate cake is what they call it, where you really can't see the bumps. And then it starts, the sun goes down and it gets dark, and the track light isn't near as good as obviously daylight. So the Cosmos give me that comfortable feeling. They slide up over the bumps, don't do anything stupid, um, go through the bumps really well, and they have quite a bit of forward bite. And not a whole, they don't have like too little steering, they just have consistent steering that's not overpowering, so it just makes the car feel super comfortable to run along me. Okay, Spencer, we're, uh, you're kind of an old pro here at doing this. You do a lot of videos. Uh, but talk to us uh, about the uh, day of qualifying yesterday, uh, how you did, and uh, kind of moving into Nitro Buggy, which is kind of our focus. Probably this video mostly a little more Nitro Buggy, but uh, talk to us about that. Yeah, yesterday, um, uh, Truggy and E-Buggy qualifying started off really, really good. I thought I had uh, great pace in both cars, uh, had some good finishes, had a couple of little, I had one rough qualifier in each class, but um, yeah, overall my Truggy was really good, E-Buggy was good, we were on green reflexes the whole, this whole weekend, I haven't really changed anything else but green reflexes. Um, they're working on the foam and maybe gluing the, the foam, something that we've been trying out. Um, but yeah, overall we're kind of learning the track, the track's changing, and uh, we're here today running some uh, Nitro Buggy, which is kind of the main focus, everyone wants to do, do good in that class, and um, yeah, I mean, I have my RC8 B3.2 right here, outfitted out with um, green reflexes, um, of course, F2i rear wing, with my stick at one wing wrap, uh, my MX engine, the Protec uh, 2090 pipe, and um, of course I ran the Savox servos and I uh, got the, the J Concepts blinged out turnbuckles on it. So um, overall, it's my car's pretty decked out with 
all my sponsors, accessories, and I'm uh, looking forward to get on the track. Looks pretty good today. Hey, well, you've run several Nitro Challenge now. I wouldn't say you're as much of a veteran as, say, maybe like a Mayfield or a Mark Pavitas or one of these guys, but you've run five or six of these things now. Um, what is it about this race that seems like it's kind of special in a way? Um, I think what's special about the Dirt Nitro Challenge, uh, well, you can take it both both swings, but I think it's just you get re very limited track time, and it kind of puts in some people in a different situation that are quick learners versus people that like to build their pace. I would tend to say I'm more of a slow, slow learner. I mean, of course, I don't have as much experience as like the Ryans or the Tebos, so, um, but there's, there's some people that some tracks just suit them better than others, uh, but I would say typically just the two rounds of practice is something that's pretty um, special about this race. You got to be up on your game. You got to make sure your, your equipment's ready to go. Your tires are glued, um, batteries are charged, and um, yeah, that's what I think is special. I mean, following you around, doing these videos, you know, we go to a lot of races together. Um, I'd say you've won. Of the races that you've won, um, they're kind of like bucket list wins for a lot of people. Like if you have to ask people, what would you like to win? People say, I'd like to win two wheel at the Worlds. You're like, all right, I got that one. You're like, I'd like to win Roar Nationals in two wheel drive. It's like, all right, I got that one. You know, you want to win Roar Nationals in eight scale buggy. It's like, all right, I got that one. So, um, but you haven't gotten this one yet. Uh, and the Reedy race, I know those are two that you really kind of looking forward to winning hopefully one day so what is it uh, what do you where do you rank this if you're able to uh, notch a win here uh, where would you rank that on your list of kind of accomplishments I don't really know how I would rank it I really wouldn't really necessarily look at look at it like that but I know given that the minimal practice someone that I know that is more difficult or challenging for me um, which I tried to make more, more of a, an effort of driving through, um, overcoming stuff like that. I would have to put it right up there with the Aurora Nationals kind of win. Um, I mean, everyone says they don't do good on buff or rough, bumpy tracks, and um, you know I've always tried to want to prove prove to myself that I can, and I have at some at some events, and I'm still learning the product, and I feel like. This past year and this year, I've really put an effort of learning my own program with 8 scale, and I feel pretty comfortable with um, how my cars cars are out there. And if I have a podium, I'm shooting for a podium this weekend. Um, you know, I'm not. I have realistic realistic expectations, and I just want a solid drive out of all the qualifiers and the mains. And I feel like if I can do that, it'd be no question a uh, top three run would be doable. Hi right, Ryan, we're uh, kind of getting this going for the Nitro Buggy Day here. Uh, he had a good day yesterday and uh, qualified second e buggy, third in Truggy. Uh, today, everyone's favorite class, of course, Nitro Buggy. Um, and you're the most winning driver of this event. Um, something that's probably pretty proud of. But uh, talk to us about getting ready for Nitro Buggy and then kind of how yesterday went. Yeah, Buggy's ready. It was pretty decent in uh, the seating rounds. It's pretty tough this event because you only get two five-minute runs in practice, so kind of got to come prepared and hope hope your car is working well. So um, yeah, it was pretty decent. Made a couple changes for today and uh, just fired it up. Motor sounds good. Weather's a little better than yesterday, so hopefully uh, hopefully we can do uh, do some good runs. But yeah, yesterday was good. The wind was gnarly at the beginning. Uh, didn't really affect the cars on the track. Just more kind of affects you because it was super cold and. Uh, tough on your eyes, but yeah, I had a couple decent runs uh, in e-buggy, and the last one didn't go so great, but uh, just was trying some stuff for today. And truck was good uh, for the last round, made a bunch of changes before that last qualifier, and uh, it was a huge improvement, which was good. Uh, it's about the same time the main's gonna be tomorrow, so it was nice to uh, put in a solid drive there, and uh, truck felt good, so uh, starting third, third in that, second in e-buggy, so should be okay tomorrow on the starting grid. Hopefully the wind can stay away. But yeah, so far, pretty decent event. So um, one of the things you kind of talked about was kind of getting that good truggy run last night. Um, kind of finishing strong and qualifying as opposed to starting strong. I mean, you've done it both ways. You've started off hot, you know, a few months back. You TQ'd like nine rounds of qualifying. 
Um, you know, then you have ones where it's a little struggle to start, and then you kind of build and get going. You know, like Dakota, he was a little on fire yesterday, TQ'd a bunch of rounds. But talk to us about kind of just kind of working towards that final and really what it's like to um, kind of finish on a strong note as opposed to starting on one. Well, it depends on, you know, it's never like a goal. If you go out there and you start strong, then you just try to maintain that. But if you don't start very strong, like, I, you know, truck was a little bit rough to drive yesterday in round one, so you just got to... Uh, put your head down and make some changes and you know make the, the proper adjustments to your driving technique or your your car setup because uh, this is a long event I mean qualifying was yesterday and we don't race the main till tomorrow um, so yeah anything can happen the I mean it could rain <laughs> you know you never know what's gonna happen so you gotta just uh, stay focused on the goal and realize it's a really long event and you have plenty of time to make the adjustments needed so um, yeah it's always nice to start out strong but um, if you can make those adjustments and finish on a high note in qualifying, at least it gives you some confidence uh, going into the main. So, um, but yeah, it, uh, everything was pretty decent yesterday. The points were really high. There's a lot of guys having some bad runs. Um, so yeah, the main events are definitely going to be tough. It's going to be a long race. This track's pretty pretty gnarly. So yeah, it's not the nitro easy. That's for sure. Yeah, I mean, we start off practice, you know, everyone kind of sees it online and we got all the experts out there. They're like, oh, it looks like an easy track and, you know, these guys are just driving wherever they want. But as the days go on, it doesn't get any easier, does it? No, I mean, I came off the driver's stand the first time. I was like, man, this is this track's way too easy. And then once the pace picks up and, you you know, the lap times, you, got, you figure out what lap times you need to be running, that's when the track got very difficult. Uh, to go fast, be as committed as you have to be out there for an entire run and not making the mistakes because this track can definitely bite you. It doesn't look super difficult, but, you know, going that next uh, second uh, in bracket there, the, your lap time, that's what's tough. So, uh, yeah, like I said, we just, uh, the team and I just kind of kept throwing some stuff at the truck yesterday and the e-buggy, and they both got pretty pretty good. The whole Mugen team had a really good result there at the end of the truck. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we can do the same today. See how the buggy shakes down for this first round, and uh, if we need to make some adjustments, we'll make it happen. All right, Jackson, we're here up, up here at the driver's stand getting ready for a qualifying heat. Um, you know, I noticed you got the headset on before. You're ready, kind of getting in the zone. Um, you're watching the track. What are you looking for uh, before your qualifier? What are you looking for out of the track and how to adjust for yourself? So with the way the format is here, we don't really run nitro buggies for about a day. So just kind of paying attention to the track, watching, kind of trying to find another associated car on the track and see how that car is reacting, where the holes are on the track, and just kind of finding a good few lines to take throughout the whole race. That way you kind of get a clean, consistent run in. Kind of paying attention to how the track's deteriorating. And it's getting pretty dry. It's pretty warm today. Uh, so just kind of paying attention to everybody's car and seeing what we can do out there for myself. So you're gonna you want to incorporate these things into your run. Yeah. You can use people that are ahead of you to watch what they're doing and say, hey, I need to do this or I need to do that, and just try to make the most out of your own run, right? Yeah, kind of just taking what, seeing other people's mistakes out there and just kind of realizing, all right, maybe I need to back it off here, kind of let the car go through the motions, and then get back on it when you know the car's all settled. So just kind of paying attention to those little bits and tips to uh, ensure a perfect and clean run. Here for Nitro Buggy qualifying, we're kind of everybody's getting up here, getting ready for their qualifier, and uh, everyone likes watching the track at this time. We're just talking to Jackson about it a little bit, and explain to us what you're looking for. Uh, you did have a, a nice thing that we were able to run 40 plus earlier, but the track was muddy. Talk to us about how it's changing and what you're looking for. Yeah, just trying to see if any like ruts or holes are kind of developing. Um, kind of checking a little bit also just the surface, see how fast it's drying out because they're watering every third race. Um, with a little bit of wind and it's, it's pretty nice and warm today, it's drying out pretty fast. Still going to go with green reflex just because I think it's the safest, best tire for the condition. And um, yeah, just trying to scope out, see, make sure nothing's really changed from the last time we were on the track. Yeah, I mean, it, and it changes a lot. You guys haven't run Nitro Buggy. You really don't get a warm-up, you get a first lap around, so watching is your practice. Correct, yeah, if you don't come up and watch and something change, a new hole or face of a jump's a little bit cuffed out, if you got your first lap and you kind of miss your mark, then you don't really know where to go, so 
trying to just watch other cars, make sure that you kind of know the sweet spots of the jump so that you can uh, put it down right out of the gate. Good job, and uh, yeah, I mean, with the, if the weather continues like this, we might end up making a tire change. Here. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, it's drying out. The track is actually really, really hard packed. The rocks are kind of coming up, so uh, probably making some changes for the next round. All right, Seth, we're uh, through the first round. Uh, we got a little bit of video running out there, and talk to us about uh, how things went. I know it was a little bit rough, but. Uh, Talk us through it. Uh, yeah, the qualifier started off good. I think it started in second, and then uh, quick made my way up to first. And I think about lap five, I ran into traffic. Three cars, and they decided to tangle up on the uh, bridge, and I got collected in it. I think I, I wheelied off of it, and you know, endo ended up in the infield. I drove out, and it slowed me down a little bit. I started to push a little too hard. I knew the rear end of my car wasn't quite settled enough to push, and I just saw red a little bit and kind of just went to try and push back, and it it bit me, so I made more mistakes than, than what I should have. So, tires were good though, ran green reflexes, they were really good, uh, plenty stable, just um, I've been fighting the shocks on this car all, all week long. I think I just screwed up the pistons. Um, so we took out we took the shocks out of my other shocks out of retirement from last year that I was running the rest of throughout 2020 and pulled them apart, fully rebuilt them, and got them set up. And I'm just setting the group right now and gonna get ready to go for the next run. Probably gonna. I think we're on a. I think I'm on a wet run, so I might go out on low chasers next run. Just try and keep the rear end locked in on the on the slick track and get some more forward bites. All right, we're gonna get back here with Tyler, and uh, kind of similar little thing is with Seth. Just kind of a little rough first run, but yeah. you had some speed. I mean, there was times you were bumping into the top three there, and I think we were following you. And I got kind of confused. I bumped over to your car. There's kind of a little crash, and then uh, talk to us about what happened. Yeah, I just had, uh, like, my front end was, like, really aggressive. I just I like a lot of steering, and the way the track is right now, you just can't have that. So I copied what was on my e-buggy over my nitro car last night, but I just left the front end the same. Just a little bit too aggressive, and it was whipping the rear end around. It just wasn't very stable in the bumps. And with the track getting rougher, it just needs to take some steering out of it. So tame the front end down. Uh, green Reflex Tire Choice, it's my go-to usually everywhere. I love that tire, love the compound. So I'm looking forward to round two. The car was fast, it was just a little hard to hold on to and I was making some dumb mistakes on my part. So looking forward to Q2. Hey Joe, we're out there in the A qualifier, uh, first round of Nitro Buggy. Uh, had some good some good runs going. I, I know, I think I saw you come 
something happened close to the driver stand yeah uh, one lap but uh, you kind of hung in there and got something decent out of it yeah so i think uh it looks like they maybe left the hose on or something and like it got real wet on the right side yeah so maybe they like added dirt or it was just real soft over there so there was a completely new bump that i think caught a lot of us out and that caught me and i went uh full x the stage right and had to get marshaled by the camera guy so um after talking to the rest of the guys, like I, I felt pretty bad about my running and then talking to the rest of them. <coughs> sounds like everyone kind of blew out, and it's just kind of who didn't blow out the, the bat. So, um, yeah, we, uh, we're going to reset here. Just had a big, easy burger, and we're, uh, we're going to try to go fast in the second round. So uh, did you end up with a, what was it, 10? 10, yeah. Yep. And, I mean, that crash must have hurt pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, I think I was like three seconds out of four. Yeah. So... Um, and take that crash away. That was probably three seconds. I think it had another little kind of weird bobble, but yeah, um, yeah. I mean, take that away. I'm, I'm right in the mix, so yeah. it's, really, it's really close. All right, Spencer. We uh, we're talking about round one of Pro Nitro Buggy. You had a pretty good run going, and uh, we had a little bad last lap. But talk to us about the run. Yeah, um, obviously I'm in the B heat, so it was kind of. Um, I was just a little concerned on how the traffic was going to be and you know what kind of pace that I needed to run. I, I knew I was going to be one of the faster guys in the heat. Um, obviously we have a couple fast guys also in that race, so um, I was driving pretty pretty comfortable. I was pretty confident how I was going to run the track. I was able to get in a good position towards the end of the race and the right side little um, double coming onto the straightaway in the front kind of huckabuck me into the um, outskirts of the track and um, kind of lost about almost 10 seconds on the last lap. So um, overall, I was able to look back at the data and see what the lap times were and you know, seeing what kind of speed I had. And obviously, from what I saw, I was a top three guy uh, pace-wise if I would have just simply finished my last lap. So um, that's a good, a good positive to bring out of that. So other than that, we're ready for round two. I got a new set of tires glued up, some green reflexes. Uh, we get a wet track, so looking forward to seeing um, where we lie. All right, we got through round one here, Pro Nitro Buggy. Uh, not a bad run. Thought you uh, kind of got it together. Had a couple mistakes, but still ended up with the third, which can't really complain there. Yeah, our car was pretty good. Uh, just filling it out. You know, we didn't get to run the Nitro car here uh, yesterday. Um, so, yeah, just uh, you don't get any warm-up laps. You just get that one out lap. And it felt pretty decent. And, uh, first lap was nice and calm came out of the gate running second behind Dakota and then my second lap I made a mistake under the bridge luckily it landed on its wheels only cost me two seconds or so got back going got back up to second uh, just still kind of feeling it out and uh, the last few laps I made another mistake little tumble over on the right side uh, cost me a couple more seconds and ended up getting third overall uh, teammate Tanner Denny Mugen car uh, got second so it was a good uh, good round for the Mugen guys uh, obviously, Dakota with Jay Concept stuff threw it down again. He's driving really well this weekend. He's got the feel for this track. And so, yeah, made a couple adjustments to my car. Might go up in compound. It's actually pretty warm today, uh, which is a nice change of pace and um, see uh, see how we stack up again. <laughs> All right, Greg, talk to us about. Uh, I talked to Mark Davidis earlier. He just threw down. He's here. He's here. I thought he was going to be doing pretty well. I thought eventually it was going to be you versus Richard versus Mark, which I still think is a possibility. Richard, uh, obviously we got Drake, but he's yeah. he's a little bit ahead. Right. But uh, let's talk ahead. about your chances here. Well, you know, um, if we break the Drake somehow, then you will have a chance. But that's not going to happen. He's just going to pull away from us like little girls, and we're going to be battling for second. <laughs> the Vinko Molder, the. You know. How about Don Vinkamolder? Has anybody won more 40 plus races ever than Don Vinkamolder? What? No. You're, there's no way you've won more than yes. Don. Big races, yeah. No, he's run he's he runs like three classes every time and wins like oh, two I don't, out of We don't count those classes. He won one time in 40 over what? Silver State. <laughs> okay. But he's good, he's very fast. So he's a threat. I will. He's a threat for six minutes. 
All right, so let's go back into your setup here. What are you doing for, for car? I've seen you change tire. You're on a different tire now? Yeah, yeah. We're going a different tire, you know. Let's see what happens, you know. It's, it's chess, not checkers, you know. We're trying to get ready for the main here. Five minute racing's over, you know. We're on the six minute races. Yeah, I got my two six minute runs in, I'm, you know. I'm what second. Do you, what do you think about us getting six minutes today as opposed to five? Well, you know, it is an improvement. You know, we used to get seven, but you know. Remember when it was ten and there was a warm up too? Well, I just saw a flyer. It was thirty-five dollars. You got seven minute qualifying with a three minute warm up. Okay. Now it's ninety. You get six minutes with no warm up. So I'm pretty upset about that. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> In, in regards to you versus Richard versus Mark. Well, I don't know what was going on with Richard that last run. I, did you watch that? No. Oh, my God. He was trying to battle me up the staircase, flipping off. I don't know where he was going. He was he was really angry out there. So hopefully he can pull it together. And you know, I need him to be up there. Yeah. I don't want these other guys up there. I need Richard up there. Yeah. So then how about Mark? I mean, if he gets us together. Yeah, he, he needs to get it together. What was his second run? He broke, it looked like. Two minutes and something he seconds. Broke? Yeah. Oh. Well, Mark's the king of the bump bump, so he'll be fine. Yeah, I think it's... It might be better, actually, if he starts in the last race. And You're right. Because he's going he's gonna to get know that know everything, and then he'll win. Reverse track time, right? Yeah. All right, Richard, we're uh, here at the Nitro Challenge. We started with Mark Pavitas. <laughs> we moved over to Dagami. Now we're talking to you. We figured that you guys are eventually going to be in a similar place on the track here at the same time. Drake, obviously, he... If he keeps it together, he's going to be in good shape. But we think you three guys are going to be close at some point. So he said you got into him there on the. Dagani said you got into him on the step up, and uh, he's like Richard's flying all over the place. I was, I was like. So uh, talk to us about the first two runs. First run went pretty good. So I drove super nervous. So then I drove within my rank, my my realm. And I was just telling Spencer, I went out in the hot lap for the second one. I'm like, holy smokes, my shit's dialed. And then I proceeded to crash right off the get-go. Crash, crash, and crash. So the car outperformed the skill level of the driver. And uh, so, yeah, that, that was probably one of the worst qualifiers I've ever had. And it uh, started off super confident. But. In the history of the Dirt Nitro Challenge. Yes, in the history of my RC racing career. It was bad. But if the car felt awesome, which is, you got to know how hard to push. And that was just dumb. And it just started off bad and kept going. So Greg said he went to some big pin tires. He said he's playing chess, not checkers. He's really getting ready for the final. <laughs> he's serious. Yeah, he's, he's serious. He's serious. He's, he's, he was Which upset cool. early that he was having some trouble. When we talked to Mark, Mark so far has been a little disappointment. He hasn't got that track time, so yeah. he broke, I think. So now he's up against the wall. But he could play the bump game and then have all this track yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the first silver, well, yeah, the first silver state we did out of my mom's motocross track, the Vitas was dead last qualifier, bumped all the way through and won. I mean, you talk about one of the raddest state scale drivers ever in this month. Yeah, it's going to be good. I, I'd like to see him get a little more track time here so he can get up and see the guys uh, kind of mixing it up together, which I think is still a possibility. Yeah, yeah, it should be fun. Uh, there's some other guys, Nelson out there, uh, Morales, some of the old school guys, Fink Mulder, yep. he did really good. So, yeah, it's <laughs> it's uh, wide open over 40 behind Adam. But I like the odds. One guy. Yeah. I mean, it's nitro race, you never know. Thank you. 
We got the second round of Pro Nitro Buggy in. Uh, you got another TQ, which uh, has turned into a good weekend here. Three TQs. Um, uh, talk to us uh, about how the second round went and uh, what kind of walk us through getting that run under your belt. Yeah, the second round went really good. Um, I just really had one little bobble kind of rush the pipe a little bit, got stuck on it. Um, but for the most part, really clean run, especially with how the track is getting. It's getting a little bumpier. Some of the jump faces on the singles are getting pretty rutted out. So. Just really concentrated on picking my lines, um, avoiding the bumps, and just trying to carry that speed. So make a make a change going into Q3. Uh, it's going to be a good indication of what the main is going to be like, I think, at least kind of track temp-wise and stuff. So I think if the car is good tonight with the change, we'll uh, keep that going into mains tomorrow. Uh, we have some practices for for each of the mains, so we will try something tomorrow for, uh, for e-buggy, and then go to the e-buggy main and just uh, keep learning and uh, stay on top of the track. All right, Spencer, we got another run under our belt here the second qualifier nitro buggy and uh you didn't have a, a last lap like you did your first run you kind of track was tough uh but you kind of uh, powered through the whole thing and you got a something to show for that that round yeah it wasn't as good as i obviously wanted it to be i mean I, I think i got 11 for the round but um it was tough because we, the my particular race speaky got water and uh, I was actually thought it was going to be the reverse. I thought with the water it was going to be quicker, but it seemed like it was really slow at the beginning, which it was totally fine. I thought my pace was actually good enough to probably be like a top seven or five at best, um, but I had a couple towards the end, um, a couple of lap traffic to kind of manage. I wouldn't say they would they jam me up, but I was more on a cautious kind of conservative feel out there. Um, probably lost about two, maybe three seconds. And that's kind of all the difference. So uh, round three, I don't, we don't get water, so it'll be more of a, like an equal track. I really, I really feel like my car is like easily top, top three car. I feel like I'm driving pretty good. I just kind of wish I was in the A heat, but you know that's part of it. Um, gonna, gonna have to put in a solid run. So um, for for round three, I think, I think I can do it. Yeah, I agree. I watching your car in that round. Uh, you can definitely see the lap times drop towards the back side of that qualifier. You got into the 30s, and all of a sudden the pace was dropping, and then that's when that little uh, issue happened that kind of got you back off the pace. Uh, and then you kind of jumped back on it, but I thought the car looks good. Like you said, I do think it is a top three car. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like my car is really good. So typically at the Dirt Nitro Challenge, I feel like I've never been comfortable. I feel comfortable out there, so I guess I can take that as a positive. Unfortunately, I haven't really been able to show for that, but... Um, uh, a good solid effort from from us guys and a good drive I feel like we can easily be accomplished all right Adam we're back here in the pits you got uh, two complete rounds in the pro nitro buggy you got three complete rounds in the 40 plus class uh, you just kind of got off the track from that recently first of all tell us about the your pro pro runs and I know you've had some pretty pretty good runs you're finishing in the top 10 and uh, probably gonna be right there in the main or uh, right there in the mix, so talk to us about those runs. Yeah, so first run up front Nitro Buggy, I ended up ninth. Um, I had one just bad get off on the left, which I think everyone kind of did at some point. Um, but the racing's close. So, you know, I ended up ninth, but could have very easily been fourth, fifth place guy, I think. Um, second round, I was eighth for the round in Pro Nitro Buggy. And again, just, you know, second or two makes a huge difference on this track. Just like with any race when it's this much competition. But uh, my stuff's good. Super happy with everything. The last round I was, I just made me feel a little bit timid. 
and um, the 40 plus class, everything's gone smooth. Um, I was able to teach you all three rounds in that. So looking forward to have a solid pro round three. So what do we got going on here? You kind of getting some stuff mounted up, uh, getting just kind of get a fresh set ready for the last round. Yeah, I don't I don't know that I'm going to run a fresh set, but I'm going to go ahead and mount them. Green Reflex is kind of my go-to pretty much everywhere. So if I don't use them tonight, I can use them in e-buggy or possibly use them for the main. So just kind of trying to stay ahead of the game a little bit. Tire wear is, is pretty low. Um, my 40 plus class, I just put the run two on a set of green reflexes. So I'll probably just run the same set in round three. And um, But if something happens or changes, I got a fresh set ready to go. All right, Ryan, we got two rounds uh, down now in the Pro Nitro buggy. Uh, you kind of got us going on the clock. You got a, one of the first guys out, I believe, on the clock, and uh, you were leading there and bouncing around first, second, third. You're right in that area the whole time. Uh, talk to us about the run. Yeah, I went out. Uh, just wanted to get out on the clock, um, and uh, I knew Dakota was going to be right behind me and figured uh, it was a good time just to kind of see how, see how fast it could go. I knew he was going to you know, be on it right behind me. Um, so, yeah, I, he kind of caught me there. Uh, first couple minutes into the race, I was running second, maybe a second behind him on the clock, and I pulled away from him uh, in a couple sections, and then uh, kind of got a little uh, overconfident through the whoop section and went over the handlebars and had to get marshaled. So, got back going again, uh, kind of got back up in a second, caught back up to Dakota, and then uh, had a just kind of got stuck on a pipe rode a pipe for a little bit on the last lap and ended up getting a four for the round. It's really close racing out there. Um, but yeah, the car's working really well. Uh, J Concepts tires, gripping awesome out there. Um, so might run a little different tire for the third round. Haven't made up my mind yet on that. Um, but we're doing some shocks here, kind of prepping for the cold weather night run. And uh, this is going to be a good judge uh, of the main event. Main event on Sunday is probably going to be about this time. So. It's a good time to test and see if we can make some improvements uh, for the main event and uh, see how this round three goes. So yeah, I mean this, um, you know, this drastic uh, swing in temperature here from the second round into the third round. It's probably going to get a little, definitely much colder. Uh, so the track's going to be wet most likely when you're running, uh, which will probably be when the main is, like you mentioned. But what are you going to do here with the shocks and what do you anticipate doing for the last round here? Yeah, just dropping oil here, uh, playing with the valving, little thinner valves here with the with the MIP pistons. Uh, track's getting a little rougher, so a uh, little thinner valve, let the tire kind of follow through the bumps a little better maybe. Um, and then, yeah, just uh, re-prep the car, make sure everything's tight, and uh, go back to battle. Yeah, 
First we'll go to Dakota. Dakota, another TQ run. Um, car looked pretty dialed here when the track was wet. And uh, talk to us about the run. Yeah, I made a couple changes just trying stuff for mains. Uh, and the car was, was was really good in the bumps. So I think we're definitely going to carry that in e-buggy and then in the mains for uh, Nitro Buggy on Sunday as well. Uh, track was really good. has a lot of moisture in it right now. And uh, yeah, it was feeling good. I was able to uh, go where I need to go on the track, avoid the bumps. And uh, when I needed to hit the bumps, the uh, car was able to take it. All right, well, good. And uh, congrats again on the overall TP. Practice time. Taken out. All right, Adam. Uh, great run, man. Yeah, the uh, track, the wet conditions, uh, seem like it kind of favors you a little bit, uh, and uh, seems like when you run your best, and uh, I mean, right at the top there. Yeah, you know, I, I was kind of excited. Like I knew everyone was kind of freaking out a little bit that they were going to water, and for me, it's like, you know, it's like a club race basically. That's how we always run the main. So. I kind of felt good. I knew I would maybe catch a few people off guard. Beginning, I just was kind of just kind of cruising around. Just I wanted to improve on my my first two runs, and um, you know I was towards the front. And I kind of drove maybe a little too cautious at the end, but to, to actually battle for the TQ. But overall, happy. Um, moved me up on the grid a little bit for the final. So um, yeah, overall good run. Tires were awesome. Ran green reflexes. And, uh, everything was working great. All right, well, congrats. Uh, where, do you know where that's going to put you in the main? I think it's I'm um, six. No. Good. All right, well, great job. And uh, plus, there's a lot of TQs in the 40 plus, so yeah. you're going to get your track time, yeah. and uh, the then you're going to get your wet track, hopefully, and uh, this could go well. And then fuel mileage. All right, Ryan, uh, last qualifier of the night. Uh, it was a little rough early, but man, you really kind of got yourself up there in contention, and uh, you're hitting those 30 second laps at the end and got right in the third. Yeah, I made a bunch of changes for that run. I ran a, a green hybrid, our old school tire. Um, everybody's been running green reflexes, so I just felt like I should try something a little different just to see if there was something, a little more meat on the bone with our tire program. Obviously, Dakota and myself, uh, most of the guys have been going really fast with the reflex, so tried the tire, had some good characteristics, had a couple bad, um, but you know, overall, I had to get used to it. This race is tough. It's like four and a half hours between each run. The track changes a lot, so. Yeah, they watered the track, and our little step-down bridge over here was wet, and so everybody was like basically doing donuts coming off that. I about collected Tyler Jones on the straightaway, which was, you know, just, and then I did the same thing, hit a hay bale. Um, but yeah, put in some good laps at the end. Ended up getting a four for the round. Uh, so I'm not sure where that puts me overall, but should start up somewhere towards the front and uh, prep everything up, go run some truck and e-buggy tomorrow, and then we'll be back Nitro Buggy Racing Sunday. All right, Seth, uh, you got your run you're looking for. Um, talk to us about what you did with tires that run. You kind of, uh, you know, you tried some different things. We talked about that earlier. You're not afraid to try stuff. And uh, man, the, the car really kind of responded. Yeah, we, uh, Went back to the pits, uh, sat down and really brainstormed ideas with Tyler Jones and uh, we got some Cosmos, so threw those on. I ran, I ran them last year while we were practicing for DNC uh, at this track and they were really good. So it's pretty comfortable, like just throwing it out there without, without any like testing before. Uh, really changed the car up and it really got better. And the Cosmos just made the bumps not even close to what they were earlier today. So car really slid up and over them, had plenty of forward bite, plenty of side bite, was really happy with it. Uh, so we're going to go back, change the e-buggy over to what we did to the nitro buggy, run those on e-buggy and figure out something to do with truck. But we'll come back tomorrow, hopefully make it out of the B a truck and do well in the e-buggy A main. Qualifier 6, Born Horse 7, Testament 8, Tebow 9, and Cavalry 10. That's a wait. That's a race. It's 8.30. Thank you guys very much. We hit our mark right on the nose. Appreciate you guys. 8 a.m. start time. Gates open at 6.30. Have a good night. Party up on the grassy knoll. Hi, Joe. We're checking in here about uh, last night's Nitro Buggy run. Uh, it was kind of a late night. You know, yep. we... I uh, got that last qualifier in, and the track was wet, and a little more like maybe the mains would probably be. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you you made some tweaks, and uh, you got going pretty good. Yeah. Uh, it's like I felt pretty good most of the day yesterday. I kind of struggled on speed a little bit. I, I was consistent throughout the day though. Um, had a nine and a ten going into the last round, so I needed. I knew I needed something more. Um, 
made a couple of small little changes, got my uh, shock oil correct for the, the dropping temperature, and uh, mounted up a fresh set of green reflex and went out there and tried to go as fast as I could. And um, uh, yeah, it was good. Uh, started off clean, had a nice clean run, no crash, or I guess I had one crash, but um, was in the hunt for most of the heat, uh, battling, you know, first, second, third or so. I think Dakota had crashed early, fell back, uh, then I went up to the lead, me and kind of, I think Adam were battling for the lead, um, and then Dakota just kind of blew right on past us and, and left us again, but um, I think right at the end I was running second, third area, and um, Next to last lap, I had a short little crash and it cost me a couple spots, but ended up with a seven for the round. Um, had some uh, potential to be a little bit more, but it's all good. Uh, we'll start uh, ninth in the main tomorrow night, so we'll be ready. All right, well, good. And uh, we got the Truggy Main today, yep. and uh, then we got E Buggy, so uh, you got a little strategy. Uh, you know, you got a, you're going to do a little bumping in the Truggy race. Yep. So, uh, what, what you planning on doing there? Uh, you know, for that event, event, which is kind of nice in a way, you get a little track time. And, uh, never hurts. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, like I, I think I told you guys yesterday, I uh, fast travel in truck qualifying. Uh, I think we'll be good. Um, just kind of going through it a little bit, freshen up the engine, make sure that's all all kosher and stuff, and. Uh, I have to do my shocks again because I went down in oil for the last run that night. Uh, so we're kind of just going back up to the normal daytime oil. I'm um, going to mount both green and blue to have them ready. Um, my gut's kind of telling me we're going to be on green because they water. And the B main, I mean, it's, it's going to be so important to have, have pace early. So, um, yeah, we're just kind of prepping. Uh, I'm, I'm confident I, I have the speed to bump and uh, I'm comfortable with my truck and I'm confident in my driving. So. Um, yeah, so do a little bump in here. I, I have a couple little changes uh, I want to test out in the e-buggy warm-up. So that'll be good that I'll be able to go out and uh, kind of run the track and see where the holes are and stuff before the truck be made with the e-buggy warm-up. And uh, yeah, kind of try to set ourselves up well for, for the night. All right, Tyler, talk to us about the Nitro Buggy. We checked in during some qualifiers yesterday. Um, you know, we talked a little bit off camera. You said you, you got some work to do with the buggy, um, setup-wise. But, you, I mean, at the end of the day, you still qualified really awesome in Truggy, E-Buggy, and then Nitro Buggy, you're a bump away from kind of where you want to be. Yeah, uh, made a lot of progress there at the end, but uh, the front end was really good. Just got the rear end. I need to do a little bit of work, too. Just a little loose off power, and it's kind of hard to hold on to. But uh, me and Seth were working together and found a lot of stuff last night that, we were, that he was happy with, so I'll do it to my car for tomorrow. But yeah, Druggy wise doing a rebuild, uh, very confident with the Druggy and the E-Buggy. E-Buggy is very good too, so looking forward to today and uh, just need to focus on what I need to do. So you got uh, you got your dad doing here doing a little wrenching on the engines. You're doing some shock stuff, kind of splitting the workload here a little bit. Yeah, so uh, I was doing most of everything. He glued up a uh, set of tires uh, for the buggy, and then he's doing the clutch stuff right now. But uh, yeah, it's awesome having him here with, with me at the races. It's uh, definitely it feels like home having him here with me. So uh, appreciate that he was able to come out and get off work to come out here. All right, Spencer. Uh, we're checking in after last night's buggy qualifier. We got a little video of you and uh, just kind of going around and cleaning up some of the video we didn't get last night. Uh, we kind of ended kind of late, uh, but uh, the buggy, your run was looking good, but uh, you ended up with a kind of a broken wing, slowed you down, uh, but you, you stayed out there, you made the most of it, and uh, you still got a, still got a shot at uh, getting where you want to be here. Yeah, I mean, like I've said through all the videos throughout that you guys gotten that my all my cars feel really good. I broke my wing in the warm up, so I kind of had to adjust throughout the whole qualifier. Um, yeah, I was I knew I was kind of on the bubble of um, making the main, not making the main, and uh, I, I was actually doing quite well considering the wing. But as I was trying to kind of naturally kind of push the car just to kind of position myself with uh, Seth in that qualifier, it just kind of bit me a couple of times. So I'm uh, gonna be in the B main. Um, I think I start fourth or fourth or so in the B main and. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually pretty pretty confident in the car. Like I said, um, I'm pretty, pretty happy with everything. Um, it's a Nitro Challenge. It's never easy. It seems like I haven't had a break in the Nitro Buggy uh, class. But um, we're prepping some tires for today. We're, it's a new day. 
and uh, getting ready for the, the, the main events um, probably later tonight and looking forward to getting on the track. So uh, talk to us about the other two mains that are going to happen today. That's probably what's going to be uh, shown here later today. So we got a truggy race, we got an e-buggy race, which you've qualified well in each. Uh, talk to us about those. Yeah, um, I actually start fifth in truggy. I felt like my truggy was probably a, a, a second place car through qualifying, a couple of driving errors on my side, but start fifth. 45-minute uh, main, that's going to be the first main up uh, is Nitro Truggy. Um, of course, we're, we're going to do our uh, A main warm up, so we'll get 10 minutes of running, kind of get the feel of the track, get the feel of the tires, the engine. Um, so, looking forward to a, a good, solid effort. Um, stay on the wheels, no engine failures, hopefully not, and um, just give it my all and see where we lie. And then, as far as e buggy goes, I start fourth. Um, looking forward to kind of hammering. Like I said, my buggies have been pretty awesome to drive. Um, a good solid effort there. I can see a, a, a top three with no question. All right, Barry, we're bumping around today. We got through Nitro Buggy last night, but now we're in the prep stages for Truggy and E-Buggy. First, tell us about how the races went for you yesterday and qualifying uh, the last two days. I think everything's gone quite well. I mean, Dakota's uh, driving very good. Our cars are working good. We uh, we tested a few things. We found out what not to do in Truggy. Um, but everything else in Buggy, I think we made the right steps. Dakota is making all the right choices when it comes to tires, even when it's last second. Um, and he's just driving really well, not crashing, so it means that his cars are comfortable. And I'm looking forward to the mains. So uh, what do you think is going to be the, the difficulty today? I mean, you guys sit around a long time. You do a lot of wrenching here. But uh, then it gets kind of late at night, and then we just we have to run all our important races at, you know, at night usually. What do you see, it, see being important uh, kind of into the night here? Well, I think we've already done our homework. And I think just uh, having the right tire choice is going to be good. But I think as far as, you know, car setup, we, like I said, we tried a couple. We were lucky yeah, enough to, uh, Dakota was, drove well enough to TQ the first two rounds. So in Truggy, we tried something off base. Um, and it just didn't seem to work. So we go back to our base setup. And now in the uh, the practice, we're going to try one more thing. And then from there, if, it, if he likes it, we stay with that for the main. And if he doesn't like it, we go back to our base setup that he ran the first two rounds, and he drives it for 45 minutes. All right, again, uh, tell us what you're going to do here for your prep, your main prep. I know we went through it yesterday. Uh, we talked about, you know, what you usually do. Uh, but what are we doing here right now? Well, I normally go through and check all the hinge pins. Um, the important uh, nuts on the car I'll actually take off, and I have a whole another set of nuts here that I'll re-lock tight and put back on. Um, I'll check every hinge pin to make sure that it's straight. Um, and then just make sure the sway bars are, are set right and just clean it up. I mean, that, that's it. It's just making sure that all the important parts, um, when I put all the shocks on, I'll put brand new nuts on there and I'll put uh, some Loctite on there and they'll be good to go. Another second behind. And it looks like Nelson will be up a spot. And now Nelson is safe. And he's going to give up two spots and fall back to four. And after that, Nelson will be up to four. And after this, Nelson will be
Brian, we got the uh, got some warm ups out of the way. We did a uh, Truggy warm up. We did a uh, eight scale e buggy warm up. And you know, it's not really in the time of day when we race, but you can still get a general feel for what's different with the track. So, talk to us about how the cars felt out there. Yeah, cars were good. Warm ups are, uh, like you said, not even close to when we're going to run our mains, but. It's nice just to shake them down after the main prep we do after qualifying. So, yeah, both cars felt really good. Uh, E-Buggy was really good. It wasn't awesome at the end of uh, qualifying, but I made some adjustments to the radio settings, speed control settings. A couple small things to the car, and it felt really, really good. Um, so, yeah, just cleaning them up. Going to go watch some uh, other main events and uh, go racing later tonight. Hopefully the wind dies down a little bit. So Horse, John, Hecker, and Van Galen, if I can get you guys to tag, please, just in case. Behind them, it was Hi, right, Joe, we talked about this, uh, that main there for a while, and uh, we finally came up to the race itself and got a great start. Yeah. And uh, weren't really challenged, so you just kind of cruised it out on it, on out, but it was about a 30-minute race, so yeah. kind of a long time to be out there for that, but it uh, looks like you found some lines and yeah. just kind of experimenting and nice to get some track time. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, you know, that was the first time we ran our trucks in, uh, you know, what, almost two days now, so... Um, the track's a lot different than the last time we ran. It's a lot more aggressive on the front. Um, you know, during practice and qualifying, I was kind of tr trying to work to get the bounce towards the front, uh, just to get the steering and stuff, for how the track was. Uh, now, I, after that run, I kind of got to move it back a little bit and make it a little bit easier to drive for 45 minutes and just how the surface is now. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we're gonna do, we have probably a couple, two and a half hours or so, so mount a fresh set of tires, um, run green reflexes there, gonna run green, green reflexes tonight. Um, probably do some diffs, go through the truck real quick. We'll probably have to go down on shocks for the temperature, uh, so I got some work to do. What? Oh, he cleared, he cleared it. Where's Tanner? Ford? Ford. Where he started. CJ oh, Jones behind him. The Kyosho car is coming. Oh, got him. 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 We got a five low battle for the leader coming up over the top of the Yeah, you're oh, Cavalieri. Oh, Cavalieri. Broke a wing. Oh, 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 what a save. 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 Oh,
What's up, man? This guy's getting a signature right before the main. So fun. Pretty good. I uh, got a pretty good start. Had a I was out good front job. for a few minutes, made a small good mistake, um, and then kind of fell off the bridge. I think uh, pretty much the whole top five did that at one point. Uh, unfortunately, there was a car coming, kind of broke my wing a little bit, but was able to uh, keep on going and uh, 
Ryan kind of got, a, got out there and wasn't able to uh, reel him in, so me and Joe had a good battle there for second. No, was, uh, I was able to get second, second. so definitely not the win. Um, you know, we did really good, and uh, we've worked hard all weekend, so we'll uh, keep on going for E-Buggy and Nitro Buggy tomorrow. Yeah, you still got a lot to go. Who do you want to thank? Yeah, uh, to, thanks to all my sponsors. Uh, special thanks to Barry. He's been working his butt off all weekend. Uh, Sontag, he's been help. And then uh, TLR, OSB, Trinity, J Concepts, Spectrum, Horizon Hobby, uh, Bradley Fine Line Designs, Stick It One Racing, Live RC, Lunsford, and uh, just everyone back home for all support. All right, well done, Thank you. All right, Dakota Fenn, getting second. <laughs> Got to bring this man up here. I'm sure you're ready to clock some, uh, open some blue mounds, but it's already open. <laughs> it's, it's already open. <laughs> Ryan's just a hell of a run. Impressive. Yeah, the truck was phenomenal. Um, I got a good start, man. I feel bad for Tyler. He just jumped inside and saw that thing off on this, the hay bill. <laughs> we weren't even a quarter lap in the race. I was like, oh, man. And then, yeah, I was uh, battling with uh, Dakota and uh, got stuck on the bridge. I fell off the bridge. I'm like, uh-oh. And luckily, I could stay in uh, third. And then Dakota did the exact same thing the next lap. So, um, But yeah, I got out front and just put my head down. My truck was so good. The motor was perfect. Uh, fuel mileage was awesome. Um, so yeah, I just tried to drive uh, like as hard and smooth as I could just to get a gap, and then uh, the last five minutes just kind of chilled out. Um, I actually had to let Ty go by because he was trying to chase down four more. So, um, but yeah, overall, great run. Um, it's been a long week. Today was crazy with the wind, and I'm glad we did. We didn't have to deal with the wind tonight, but uh, still got e-buggy and uh, an extra buggy. We, uh, we noticed something behind you on the driver's stand when you, oh, yeah. when you went up. Whose idea was it, and what's that all about with the heater? Yeah, Ronnie Rifkin called me. He's like, do you mind if I put a heater behind you? I'm like, hell no, I don't mind. Let's go. So I didn't really feel it because we were so layered up, but you know, when we were doing driver intros, I was keeping my hand warm and stuff, which is kind of nice. Well, actually, everybody was there. It's crazy. Hard to drive all this stuff. Well, no doubt about it. This is obviously one of the most challenging races ever, but to have that dominant of a lead, nearly lapping the whole field, I mean, that's that's really unheard of in many times at this race. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what this layout's bringing is like if you can just, you know, put in solid laps and solid laps and uh, if the other guys are making a couple mistakes, it's hard to make up time. I mean, we're all running basically the same exact lap. So I knew if I could, I mean, even when I only had a four second lead, I'm like, okay, these guys cannot catch you as long as you don't want to be yourself. They can't catch you. So, and then, yeah, I just put in solid laps every time I could. I just my line a bunch off the right side, trying to just hit it as best as possible every lap. Um, and then, yeah, I got in a pretty comfortable rhythm to where it wasn't, I didn't have to work super hard to go fast. The truck was letting me do what I needed to do to maintain speed and not use a bunch of inputs like you know, I didn't have full throttle. So Pro Nitro Buggy for Pro Nitro Truck, truck so. A main drivers, we need you yeah, out of the track the truck made so we can get this warm up underway and get these final four races done. Yeah, obviously everybody that supports me. We're taking a little, little extra time, uh, but it's the main main. Uh, Amin Hobbies, ProTech. So uh, hustle back out once back again. All my other sponsors. Top four should be in tech. Thank you, you know who you are. Jason Rona, Mike True. JK Penn, Born Horse, Tech, Testament, Tebow, Denny, Cobb, Larry, Drake, Jalen, Wiggins, Wiggins, and Jones. Out to the track, please. Run away. And then we can relax. Best for you, man. Impressive run. Thank you. All right, there you go. Your pro truck champion. All right, Tyler Jones, Absolutely. where you at, Tyler? Just in the clinic out there, just doing what he needed to do. Tyler's Lapped in the back corner, Spencer Woodcamp. Ryan Spencer Mayfield, 2021 DNC pro truck champion. All right, let's talk about the uh, Truggy main there. Yeah. Uh, from the back all the way up front. Yeah. Uh, talk to us about kind of the charge up there and the little battle with Dakota. Um, yeah, so I yeah, started 11th up, you know, had to bump out of the B, won the B, and the... Uh, First lap, I just kind of had to be patient and um, kind of let you know whatever was going to happen unfold. And um, once we kind of got going and got into a rhythm, I just went as absolutely hard as I could for as long as I could. Um, you know, we—I uh, don't even know when it was that me and Dakota kind of got in that little battle, probably what two thirds of the way through or so. Um, I knew that like he had the one less pit than I did, so I at some point was going to have to you know get a gap on him. Um, but yeah, we had a cool little battle, I and mean, we put some cool passes on each other, and uh, kind of got into it a little bit, and kind of started to slow each other down. The, the guys behind us were, were pretty close, so uh, kind of had to just take a step back and um, you know start to go continue to go forward, and rather than just battle and, and slow each other up. So. Um, yeah, it was awesome. Uh, the truck was awesome. We uh, 
after the B main, came back here and thrashed it for you know the whole basically two and a half hours that we had. Did a full on rebuild of the truck um, and made a few changes. And, uh, yeah, it was it was a lot better than what I had in the B main. A lot more comfortable. I could push it a lot harder the entire time. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. I'm pumped to be uh, on foot. Dakota, let's talk a little bit about the Truggy race. Um, TQ let it out there. Um, you guys both slipped off the bridge, and uh, got, we just talked about it a little bit. Um, kind of had an unlucky bounce coming off there. Talk to us about the whole Truggy race. Yeah, there was actually probably about five of us that ended up doing that. I think probably the top five did all at one point. Um, unfortunately, I kind of got the worst of it. Um, kind of the cars are coming underneath the bridge when I fell off. Kind of got hit and bounced around and stuff. But it is what it is. Um, kind of after that, I kind of fell back a little bit from Ryan and wasn't able to uh, catch up to him. And had a good battle with Joe and was able to uh, get a second. So yeah, definitely want to take the win. But you know, sometimes sometimes it happens. Um, truck was good. Everything was working good. So well, I keep it going. Have e buggy up here in a little bit, and then our next buggy tomorrow. So yeah, I mean, you still got two two more classes of the race here. That's ideal. What you you know, what's nice about doing it, yep. uh, about the three classes, is you got multiple opportunities. Uh, kind of a weird switch here. Usually we run e-buggy before Truggy, yep. uh, but because of the, the noise ordinance here, they want us to run e-buggy later. Uh, so now that's going to be the last race of the night, and uh, kind of a, you got to cool down, yeah. <laughs> and then you kind of get hyped back up, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of like running Truggy first, I think more people are able to watch, uh, it's definitely like the longer race, so it's nice to do a little bit earlier, you kind of come back, hang out for a little bit, and then I uh, go back out there and then do the buggy. Oh, 
race with Ty with Dakota Spencer Rifkin was up there Tyler Jones was up there I mean just a hell of a battle um, and that there at the end it was just down to me and Dakota and I was just like all right cool uh, you know let's just battle this thing out and see who see who can uh, not crash here in the last couple of minutes and he made a mistake and then it was you know all the pressure was on me just not making a mistake and luckily uh, I had enough gap where I could just back the piece up and uh, finish so yeah great day cars were working great um, I made some adjustments to everything yesterday and everything felt really good so I knew I was going to be competitive but uh, I wasn't predicting a good day like this. You did. You got two. One more to go. Yes, sir. We'll, uh, we'll be ready for tomorrow, and uh, hopefully it's a good race. I'm looking forward to it. All right, party on tonight. Well, yeah, thank you. All right, there you go. Ryan Mayfield, Dakota Spencer Rifkin. Great race. Good job. 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 <laughs> you guys got this. This is the picture that we're waiting for. All right, Dakota, we got uh, through the e-buggy main last night. We're here today working on Nitro Buggy, but a uh, little recap. Tell us how that main went. Uh, it was late night. At the end of the night, everybody was kind of ready to go home, but you guys got to be ready to race still. Yep. Yeah, e-buggy won. Uh, it went decent. I uh, ended up second overall, so definitely wanted to get the win, but... You know, I drove pretty decent. Um, had a small mistake there in the beginning, and uh, the top four were kind of battling back and forth. Um, I think I kind of was all the positions at one point. Um, I think most of us were kind of just kind of going all over the place, kind of cycling through first and fourth. Um, and then I was kind of just me and, me and Ryan up front going good. Uh, it took a little bit for my car to get good. I think we went out on a little bit thick shock oil. But once it warmed up the last like five or six minutes or so, the car was really good. Um, the track ride out a little bit. It had, had really good grip. So, yeah, it was pretty happy with it. Um, kind of got stuck with a lapper there with like a minute to go, so I uh, wasn't able to uh, uh, try to catch up to Ryan a little bit. I think I was like a couple seconds back um, when that happened, so a little unfortunate, but is what it is, and uh, we'll uh, move on to Nitro Buggy today and hopefully uh, be able to take home the win. All right, Joe, we're catching up here today. Uh, we got through the e-buggy main last night. It was the last race of the night. Everybody was kind of tired, ready to go, but yeah. you guys geared up and uh, got a main going and a little up and down, but uh, talk to us about how the race went. Yeah, uh, so I started fifth. Um, got uh, a little tangled up in the, well, the first or second corner. Went straight to the back and then uh, had really good pace and I felt really comfortable and I, I got back up to um, I think fourth or fifth like within a couple minutes. And was making some really good moves. Had a really good race with Spencer going there for a bit. Uh, we were kind of putting some cool passes on each other. And, um, then just the second half just kind of got caught up in some stuff and um, kind of ran out of a little racing luck. And uh, yeah, just kind of ended up seventh. So wasn't wasn't great. I mean, I, I the positive thing from it is I. Uh, I felt really comfortable. My nitro buggy is basically set up the same exact way as what my e-buggy is. So uh, that should translate to tonight for the nitro buggy main. Um, so yeah, overall it was okay, but it could have been, had a lot more potential. 
let's uh, let's talk about that. We're gonna have a, a nitro buggy warm up coming up later today, and then of course the main, which I'm assuming is gonna be at night again. Yeah, um, yeah. I, mean, I, I would think it would be you know probably pretty late because the last race of the day. But um, so the warm up, you know, we uh, it's not super beneficial because the track is so much different than what we're gonna see tonight. The temperature is a lot different than what we're gonna see tonight. So um, basically, I'm just going out there to. Um, you know, basically run my car and uh, I, I showed up early this morning, did a full rebuild to it. Uh, so make sure everything's good with the car, uh, make sure the engine's going good, do the uh, brake in the clutch a little bit. And uh, yeah, just make sure that the car is all good and uh, then come back, clean up a little bit, mount some new tires and go do battle. All right, Seth, uh, just catching up here again about the e-buggy final last night. Um, ended up going pretty well for you. I believe you got fourth. So, how'd it go, and uh, how'd you come in there? Uh, it went pretty well. I started off a little rough, uh, made a few mistakes on the right side. The right side was really difficult for everybody. I talked to a few people out there, and they really struggled on the right side of the racetrack, just getting the timing down, uh, staying low and consistent. Uh, made some good passes towards the front. Um, got up to, like, fifth, was battling with Joe. Uh, he ended up making a mistake, and then with like two minutes to go, was trying to chase down Spencer, and Spencer was moving out, and so was I, and I just ran out of ran out of time, and couldn't quite catch him. I ran uh, Green Cosmos last night uh, with blue foams, and it was super good. Uh, really consistent tire, just gets through the bumps super easy, and they actually have plenty of speed compared to a, or. Uh, just like a reflex. I think a reflex would be a little bit faster, but I just don't know if I can hang on to it for an uh, extended period of time. So that's why I went with the Cosmos and I was really happy with it. All right, well, uh, we got a Nitro Buggy race going on today, too. You're prepping for that. Uh, tell us uh, what your plan is. What's the game plan to get ready for that race today? Uh, get ready for that race. Uh, rebuild the whole car. Uh, went through all the bearings, went through all three diffs, replaced some parts that were needed. Uh, did the front and rear bulkheads just to be safe. I uh, don't want any mechanical failures. Uh, just got my tires glued up. I'm going out on Green Cosmos again uh, with glued foam. And we're going to rebuild the clutch and the shocks pretty quick here and get the car all prepped and ready to go. And I'm starting first in the B, BQ, which compared to last year it was TQ. But uh, not my greatest race this year, so we're just going to go out and run con clean, consistent, and hopefully stay out front and pull away. All right, Tyler Jones, uh, doing some e-buggy last night. Uh, you are in the lead. Yeah. You had the lead. Uh, it was a good race going on, and uh, you had a lot of people cheering for you, which was cool, I noticed, and uh, you had a pretty good run. Yeah, uh, car was just kind of hold on hard to hold on to and uh, needed to make some rear end changes that I made to the Nitro car and I just didn't transfer them over to the e-buggy. But uh, yeah, the car was good and I just made some mistakes and ended up falling back. Uh, me and Seth had a little bit of a battle and I made a mistake and uh, ended up fifth. Uh, a lot better than what happened to Truggy. I was pretty unfortunate with that. And uh, yeah, just looking forward to uh, the be main today of Nitro Buggy. Uh, re prep the car, fresh set of tires. I'm going out on Super Soft Cosmos, just like Seth is. I was pretty happy with that tire last night. And uh, I started behind Seth, and he's there one of my best friends, so we're just going to go this up. Take it to it. So let's talk about uh, you know the race for Nitro Buggy today. Uh, are you straight in the B, the B uh, main there? Yep. Uh, I started second. So hopefully you guys can kind of work together. You're yep. running similar setups, similar tires. So uh, ideally, you guys march through it, right? Yeah. Uh, that's, that's no problems, and you bump to the main, right? Yeah, that's. Uh, we've been talking, and uh, we're just going to try and keep it cold and consistent, work with each other, and uh, make the main. So uh, going back to the Truggy race you talked about, yeah. um, I know you're upset. I know everyone's upset, but um, it's unfortunate. But you know what? We've seen this all happen before. You're not the only one that's had this happen. Uh, I've seen Mayfield break on, like, one, two laps in. I've seen him break while leading. I've seen everything happen um, that can happen. Um, tell us how it went and uh, what, 
you know, just kind of reflecting back a little bit? Uh, the truck went out for warm-up, uh, fresh set of green reflex, and the truck was awesome. I was really happy in warm-up. Uh, me and Ryan ran the whole time warm-up together, so I was really confident. And just landed wrong off the step down and ended up hitting the hay bale and unfortunately just uh, ended up having to sit out the rest of the main. But uh, I was really happy with the truck and how everything went this weekend. Uh, it was the first real weekend on it. I had two runs on it before I came out here. So overall, I'm looking forward to the rest of the year. It was just really unfortunate that it happened to happen. So. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just a matter of time before you win one of these things. I mean, you got the speed. You can only qualify well so many times before you win something in this because when you have the speed, it's just about putting it all together. But, you know, it was unfortunate, but I think a lot of these things do happen to people. Sometimes you feel like they only happen to you, but I've seen everybody have these things happen. So I think it's, it's a good opportunity to yeah. try to turn it around with the Nitro Buggy, right? Yeah, that's the way. I was super bummed, but uh, I just had to focus in last night for the E-Buggy because it's up quite, quite soon after Truggy. So I'll just try to like focus on that, and then now just got to focus on the Nitro car. So. All right, um, Spencer, we're talking E-Buggy last night. Uh, it was late, <laughs> last race of the day. Um, you just got off from the Truggy main, you know, just a little bit earlier. Talk to us about how that e-buggy race went. Yeah, um, you were leading. Yeah, I think, uh, I don't think I led any laps, actually, but um, no, it was kind of weird because typically Nitro Truggy is the last uh, race of the event. Um, I got done after a pretty bad Truggy race, and... Um, I knew I had a shot to do something pretty pretty good in e-buggy, and um, there was some hardcore racing going on. Me and Joe Thornhorse had a good battle. Um, I kind of was up to second, and I went back to fourth. I flipped over the end of the straightaway, and kept on going, kept hustling the car around the track, and um, finished the race in third place. Um, I think like a few seconds behind Dakota, and then um, maybe like eight seconds behind Ryan, which was the leader. Um, overall, I thought it was a, I thought it was a good race. It was cool to see um, Ryan get the double win yesterday, and um, uh, the Green Reflex is the tire that we were running all day yesterday and all week so far, and um, it seemed like the equipment was working good. All right, so talk to us about today's prep. Uh, you got a, a, a nice main that you got to run today. Um, you're gonna try to do some bumping, uh, just some unfortunate qualifying, but um, tell us how that uh, the prep's gonna go for that main. Yeah, um, we got our Nitro Buggy prepped kind of during yesterday's downtime, and uh, you know it's a 30-minute buggy uh, B main. Uh, I believe I start fifth place, so um, I'm expected to be right there towards the end once it's all said and done. Um, obviously, there's some great drivers in there. I think Ty Tessman's in there, Seth Van Dalen, um, I think even like Spencer Hecker, Tyler Jones, I'm, I believe. So, I mean, definitely the competition's no slouch. Definitely no um, taking it for granted as far as where everyone's going to end up. It's going to be a hard-fought battle, and I'm looking forward to seeing where, we're all, where we all lie when it's all finished. But um, I believe uh, my car is good enough to do it. The tires are good, and I feel like if I can um, just go out there and drive and control the race, I feel like we'll be right there to bump into the main. bumped in there, kind of some unfortunate qualifiers, but he deserves to be in there. For yeah, 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 no, for sure. Skill level, I mean, everybody's going to say they had some bad luck, but <laughs> our started off in the first uh, seeding round of practice, so, hey. Getting our way back. Yep, yep. 
Valley RC Raceway, Beaumont, California, 2021 PMC. Mayfield going for it. He's going to give up that second spot, and there goes Paul Ogden. Ogden back into the second spot. He goes up and over the triples. Lose the battle for second once again. Mayfield now has to figure out a way to get away. These guys are all fast. But the code of time appears to be the quickest one in the top three early on. We got 17 and a half down, 27 and a half to go. We're about five minutes away from the halfway mark. Five minutes away from the halfway mark as they all battle. Mayfield going really wide like he's trying to come into pit lane, but he uses the pusher in the street part of the track to make it happen. Meanwhile, Ogden and Fenn going right down the center, the center down the front side. Right now, we've got four drivers coming out of Arizona. Mayfield in first, Debbie in third, and Ripton in fourth. To go, Diners, 12 minutes left to go. We're getting down to it. Mason loving all the battles behind him, so that means he is pulled away. I got a long lap for Jellin. Jellin, a long lap, 153. He did have a flame out, but all scoring is good. Adam Drake turning his personal fast lap 31 one last time by. And here they are down the front straightaway. to avoid running into the back of Denny. So now they're coming up on Cavalry. Cavalry battle for third is approaching. Rips is coming in. All of them coming in for the last. And Denny trying to get by the drink right there. See what happens here. Cavalieri trying to get by Denny to get back up to battle with Drake for that top five. Six minutes to go, driver. Six minutes remaining in this one. Mayfield, Ogden, Denny, Rinson, and Drake for top five. Cavalieri six. We got the four Technos, Timo Southern, Riggins, Drake, Northern, Tyler Jones, ten. CJ Jelly, eleven, and. Tanner Denny's been working so hard on his program, putting in the work year after year. Rich King doing the same. All of these guys, they don't just pick up a radio and look like a rock star behind the wheel. Oh, oh, oh. Get caught together. So Tanner Denny getting a little hunky buck to the woods. With Ripken, nowhere to go. Ripken gets stuck on the wing. But Ripken gets stuck on the wing. Ripken up to third. Denny like him. And Denny getting a lucky bounce back onto his wheels with three minutes to go. Heading up and over the step over they go. Can Ripken hold off Denny and put the only associated in the field on the box here. That would give us three different nature of the top in the AC racing and Ripken and the associated. Here they come. Ripken gets tied down the front straight away. And Denny gets tied down the front straight away. Up through the loop, the loop, on the bridge, off the bridge, and go. Here they come, up and over the triple jump. Two and a half minutes remaining. Eight tenths, two minutes to go for Ryan Marco. And a clean streak of all three pro mains here at the DMT. A 12 second lead for Mayfield, just cruising around. Not doing anything cray cray. Trying to get it done here. 145 drivers, 145 remaining. Ogden the same way. Through this two dunks going up the hill, this could be a fantastic finish for the second qualifier for Arkin. And Denny and Rifkin, they got a minute and a half to settle this one. They're coming up on Timo next, not quite right there, but they have five cars in front of them that they'll have to contend with. I don't know if they'll get to all five, there's only a minute 15 to go. But they are blistering, and Rifkin got rolled over, and Rifkin. 
can now upside down, gonna lose a ton of time, and that should It was good enough to get the job done, but it was super hard to drive. I'm like seeing double, just concentrating so hard, so cold up there. Um, but yeah, fantastic race from uh, Cole. He got out front, and I was thinking, I'm like, all right, man, you just do the best you can. I didn't overdrive it. I just was just doing the laps I could do. I uh, ended up catching him. Dakota was going for it, man. He was putting in some serious laps, and he was a couple tenths faster than me. Uh, and I wasn't just just the same thing. I wasn't pushing it. I'm just like, I can. This is what I can do. This is what I'm going to keep doing. Um, and then, yeah, a couple untimely mistakes from uh, those guys, and I just put my head down. And um, I know that I knew that I was fast enough to where if I had a four or five second lead, you know, they couldn't really make up much ground as long as I didn't crash. So that's what I did. Uh, pit stops were tight. Uh, after the warm up, I was only calculating like 9:30, and I told my Truy, my pit guy, I'm like, I'll make up the time. Don't worry, we'll we'll be okay. And uh, so it happened. Uh, luckily, I didn't. Uh, Wuss out and go seven and a half like I've done in a few few different mains. Uh, I knew I had to do that nine minute hit and we did it. We got it done. Car survived, tires were awesome, engine was perfect. And uh, yeah man, what the what the hell we did. Absolutely. How about that? Shout out to your old school. You're making Mike Trury in the pits, getting it done still. Yeah, he's uh he's a uh, not a neighbor of mine, but he lives in Arizona and uh, he go he's like, Hey I wanna come pit and I'm like, Hell yeah man, I, you know there's only a couple dudes that I trust for uh, you know a big race like this and be like Joe Pillars, Adam Drake is down in the main and Truy, and uh, so yeah, thanks for him to come for coming out here. I'll take care of him, give him a little bonus money for this, and uh, yeah, man, what a long week, and uh, I'm really uh, pretty uh, shocked. This is, this is in it. pretty nuts. Did you think coming here this year, a triple was even even in a realm of possibilities? I always have confidence that I'm going to be part of the conversation, um, but you know, you have to have a lot of things go your way, you know, to finish all these long races. So. Um, I came off this bridge over here. Uh, I had to avoid a lap car. It was upside down, and I came off with Tyler Jones, and it wasn't anybody's fault. Like, we flipped tires, and my car went for the gnarliest scratch. I'm like, oh, there it is. There's that bad luck you've been waiting for. And somehow that thing kept going, and it's cold weather for that thing to take that hard of a hit. That's a testament to the, the, how strong that mutant car is, and Protec servos, and everything else on that thing. So, uh, yeah, crazy. Uh, I had to have a lot, of, like I said, a lot of things went my way, but a lot of preparation, a lot of time went in for this weekend because uh, this is a tough one. And and if you don't come here with your stuff together, it's not going to be good. So, luckily I was ready. It turned out good. Thanks for every, thanks to everybody that helped, helped me get here. And, uh, yeah, got a couple beers behind my Absolutely. <laughs> Go grab some Blue Mountains. All right, thanks, guys. All right, Ryan Mayfield doing the triple this weekend. Absolutely brilliant drive for him. All right, Spencer. 
you bumped it up from the B main, and uh, you made a race out of the thing. I mean, you got right up there, you're in podium position, battling with <laughs> all these guys are your buddies, of course, Tanner. Um, you know, you guys want to both get that third spot, uh, but you went back and forth and uh, settled in fourth. But hey, as your best finish at Nitro Challenge yet. So talk to us about a podium and a fourth this weekend. Yeah, um, yeah, this awesome racing with the guys. Uh, a lot of respect to all the guys on that driver's stand. I mean, we put all of us guys put all of, you know blood, sweat, and tears into this. Um, you know, congratulations to Ryan on the on the triple up. I believe he's done this once before. So, um, you know, what can you say, guys? Guys on fire. Um, yeah, for Tanner, me and Tanner had an awesome battle. I was I was pretty stoked. I actually didn't have that great of a start on that race, so I had to w maneuver my way up to the pack. Got into a position where I was in fifth. I was about 17 seconds behind um, Tanner. Um, I believe with like. 17 minutes remaining and I was just hammering laps hammering laps I think he made a couple mistakes, but I was able to catch up and um, Once I got with him uh, You know we were switching battling back and forth. And it was it was pretty awesome and a lot of respect to Tanner uh, we, we do this stuff back home. I remember racing with him, you know 10 years ago back at SRS so um, Congratulations to the, to the, to the Mugen guys for the, the podiums and big shout out to our team you know, team associated, you know, guys, you know, Kurt Wanger actually made a pretty big su suggestion for me to, to try in the main. So thanks, Kurt. You're you're the man. Uh, Brent Richard, my crypt, my pit crew, and of course, Jason here with J Concepts. Um, my best finish at the DNC, and thanks for guys, uh, for you guys for watching. All right, Tyler, we're finishing up here. Main is over. You're cleaning up the car. Uh, it's pretty laid out, you know, it's cold. Talk to us about how the race went, and uh, one flame out I saw. Yeah. But uh, how did the race go overall? Uh, at the start, I didn't have very good uh, hopes because I was in the wheelchair area and I couldn't see the left side at all. But uh, I got a good start and then uh, me and Dakota ended up getting together and I, uh, the, way, the rear sway bar mount broke. And uh, I knew someone was broke right away, but I just kept driving it. Uh, I was driving and then I noticed that Jimmy was calling Tanner and Spencer going on the front stretch and I was on the right side. So I was like, oh, like, man, I'm catching these guys. Like, my car feels okay. I'm driving good. And then uh, I had something else go wrong and uh, I ran out of fuel way before my pit window twice. So I don't know if it's a cracked fuel tank or something about to look at that when I go home. But overall, it was a good weekend. Uh, my first oh. DNC. I'll take it. It's not exactly the results I wanted, but I'm happy. So. All right, Joe. Um, long weekend, long week. Um, some ups, some downs. Uh, the high was the Truggy. Great race in the Truggy. Talk to us about this buggy race uh, that finished it off here and uh, moving on to the next one, right? Yeah, so uh, I was kind of I was expecting the track to be quite a bit different than what we had there. Um, kind of every night we've had a you know, pretty wet track and not really any sort of a groove and not really a whole lot of grip. Um, and that car was just, it was really hard to drive. Um, I kept on trying to do some radio adjustments and um, just try to drive easy, but I, I just couldn't push and uh, I don't know if I was just too soft on the tire or the track, I, I don't know. <laughs> I tried my best to just make laps, but it, I crashed a lot. I, I didn't need to do it, but it, that's racing. I, you know, and I saw that out of a lot of cars out there. It didn't seem like everybody had the natural grip like they did earlier. Like it got, uh, the track temperature got cold, maybe kind of hard, and the water just on top of the rocks. You know, we looked, me and you looked earlier, there was that surface was really rocky, and it almost was like that got cold and slippery. So I actually, I think that we had more grip than what we've had, like versus what we had last night. Like even the line, like it never dried out like what it did tonight. Um, like in Truggy, it was, it was really forgiving. Um, the grip wasn't really too high. You allowed you to push really hard. Um, and it, it wasn't like very direct on your, your wheel feeling. Um, where tonight, um, at the beginning it was okay with the water, uh, kind of felt normal. Um, but then it dried out and it did, I don't know if it's just the rock or what it was, but it felt like driving on slicks, to be honest. Um, for me, it was it was just super direct and it was very, very, very hard drive. But, uh, I mean, I tried my best. It wasn't very good, but uh, we'll, we'll try to get better. 
All right. Well, thanks for being here. Thanks for the support. You had some great moments here this weekend. A lot of stuff to be proud of. Yeah, so, uh, no, it's, it's, it's still a good weekend. Um, yeah, thank you for, for all the help this weekend. Uh, I'm very honored to be on the Big Contest team. And, uh, it's great to work with you. And, uh, yeah, I absolutely love all the product and everything. I, I think I just have to work to do it. I, I know I can be up there in the buggy team. I proved myself in truck over and over again. Um, so I, I just need to kind of figure out, figure out a couple things, I think. So Absolutely. If I set up or something, I'll be, I'll be there. Or something. All right, Dakota, we're trying to wrap this thing up, man. This has been an epic event here this week. Uh, it's been a long uh, event. Um, you have some great moments, you know, TQ in all three classes. Uh, it's not easy. Uh, and then you led, um, you know, a lot of the races here this weekend. And you know, it wasn't just the perfect, this, you know, wasn't meant to be. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it happens. Unfortunately, that's nitro racing. Um, you know, I, I know how it goes. So keep pushing along. Everyone, like I said, everyone worked really hard um, on the car, on the tires, everything like that. So yeah, I just had an unfortunate flame out. I'm not really sure what it was, blew the plug. So we'll, uh, we'll uh, put our heads down, get back together, and I'll be back for the next race. Yeah, I mean, honestly, if you go back and you look at these lap times on that main, I mean, you're going to see that you were the fastest guy in the race. Uh, you caught up three or four times. I mean, uh, Ryan was leading, kind of cruising. I, I think, in general, Ryan didn't have the best car in that race. He was a little bit being conservative. He said he, that was all he had. Uh, you caught up to him and Cole several times, and a uh, little issue here and there. And like you said, the the flame out that just kind of took you out. Yeah, yeah. Car had a lot of a lot of good speed out there. Um, Want to work on the drivability a little bit, but car was really good. Had good speed, and uh, yeah, we'll just uh, keep on working on it and come back to the next one. You're close, guys. You're close. Oh, we'll go. No, we're we're done. Me and the jackets are ready. All right, round of applause. Whoa. Yeah, guys. Take a chug, take a chug. Take a chug. Yeah, man. How you guys represent our sport of RC cars? You did a great job, and uh, you're a well-deserved yeah. champion. So thank you guys for all that you do. Congratulations. On behalf of the Dirt Racing and the Nitro Challenge crew, thank you everybody for coming. We hope you have a fun week. We hope you make it home safe to your families. Safe trips. See you, Jason. Thanks, Scotty. Thank you. See you. Good, good job. Scotty, safe travels. All right. Be good, everybody. Thank you. Oh, I didn't see you. I'm sorry. Good job, Ryan. Thanks, dude. Yeah, that evil intro is be consistent. All right, that's it. The Dirt Nitro Challenge is over. It's future Jason here reminding you to stay tuned to watch the 2021 Dirt Nitro Challenge here on the J Concepts YouTube channel. And uh, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of time going into these videos, but thanks for watching. And uh, it was a great weekend. And uh, stay tuned for more.